I think what I don't draw on enough in my channel, I have slightly touched upon it, is the financial aspect of being single. It's tough, especially in the UK. The cost of living crisis is happening and when all the fuel prices are going up next month. Sometimes I feel, have we really moved on from the Victorian times? Have women really evolved that much? If you think of Elizabeth Bennet trying to find a husband as a means of economical support, have we really moved on that much as a society? I don't think we have. I still need a man for economic stability. And I really don't want to say that. I want to be a boss bitch, boss babe, whatever bollocks, saying, oh yeah, I don't need a man, I don't need a man. The irony is I actually do. The irony is even though I have a full-time job, I'm doing YouTube, and I support myself, I'm not really living a life where I can go on holiday and stuff like that. I would argue that in a lot of ways we haven't moved on from Victorian society. I watch my friends get houses and they're coupled up getting houses. The only people I see getting houses are honestly YouTubers, single YouTubers. I don't see anyone my age that isn't married getting a house unless their parents have helped them out. And A, I'm not in that situation that my parents can help me out. And B, you know, I'm not at that stage as a YouTuber. Unless you really excel at what you're doing, you're honestly, you're going to struggle without that second income. And that's why I argue, have we really moved on from the Victorian times? I don't know if we have. Women still depend on the financial assistance of a man. We still depend on making ourselves attractive so that we can find a man to make our lives easier. My favourite part of Sex and the City is when Miranda buys that house on her own and she doesn't need a man. For me, that is the highlight of the whole series. It's not even about the sexual liberation that the women display on screen. For me, it's the fact that Miranda buys her own house. She's a lawyer, she buys her own house and she doesn't need Steve. And that's what I want for me. For me, I can accept being single. What I can't accept is that I need more money. And I need more money to survive. And that's what I can't accept. And I honestly can't see my circumstances changing unless I couple up with someone. I don't know if it's the same in America. I presume it's a worldwide problem, but nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about the fact that a lot of people couple up for financial reasons and a lot of people stay in relationships for financial reasons because they have nowhere else to go. And I've said this before on my, you think it was, why does everyone want to be an influencer video? It's because, well, I read an article the other day that influencers are outstripping lawyers, doctors, etc., top consultants, earnings wise. They're completely outstripping them and making more money. And I don't want to pick on specific influencers because they're doing their own thing and good luck to them. If I was in that situation, and I could get a pretty little thing deal or whatever, hey, I'm not gonna say no. But some people just seem a bit naive to how much economics drives the decisions that we make. And not every woman out there can secure a husband that's going to pay for them and give them a life where they don't have to worry. Not every woman is in that situation and this is also where I worry as well with the cost of living argument is that sadly I think it's going to lessen women's standards and we're going to have women that say that's okay the cost of living's gone up we don't have to go out on a date we can just sit at home we can just watch Netflix and that's when you're gonna get men that escalate sexually because that's what men do once you get men into a situation where it's just you two and it's not at 
a bar or a restaurant or whatever, men will just escalate things sexually. And that's okay if you want that, but sometimes if you're a woman, it's not nice to be on the receiving end of that. And having to turn someone down and you don't always feel safe and you have to turn a man down and then you're stuck in the flat or the house. And this is what I worry about the cost of living. I worry that it's going to destroy dating and I worry that men are going to be reluctant to go on dates because A, they won't have the spare cash. And it's okay for Anna Bay saying, oh yeah, men should just pay for every day. Well, yeah, you married your rich man or whatever, but the majority of people dating will be dating the regular person that's gonna be struggling to pay the bills. They're not going to be meeting a rich husband at I don't know wherever you meet rich people these days. Nowhere that I go, obviously. I could literally destroy Anna Bay in a video, but I won't. I do worry that it's gonna put women at a lot of risk because it's going to make people escalate quicker because they're going to be at home, having dates at home to save money. And I do worry for women's safety with that, just literally go for drinks or something first. 